Hi, I'm Gary Taylor. I'm the plant manager here at Apro Mills Wadsworth. I've been with the company 29 years. Currently we've got 19 machines. We're about 220,000 square feet, 100 employees. And we're operating right now on uh, a five-day schedule, so three eight-hour shifts. Continuous improvement has always been significant to us. So uh, 5S was kind of a natural uh, thing. Some of us uh, went to uh, a school with, uh, to get our green belts. And uh, basically, it was, an, it was just an improvement for the plant. Well, individually, I think you know everybody takes pride in their work. They get their work done much faster now, much safer. I think as far as the plant is concerned, we've been able to uh, increase our customer satisfaction obviously in our on-time shipments and that because we've got stock available we're doing shorter runs uh, we've got our inventories reduced so there's some economic benefits to us along with the customer satisfaction we did use some outside resources that came in and taught some classes uh, until we really went out for like a week's training to get green belt uh, it really didn't take very well so once we went outside and uh, did a week's training we came back and developed our uh, our plans and uh, kind of worked with an outside group to keep us on track everything uh, everything went pretty good after that yeah all the uh, all the projects had teams and team members uh, basically that was just uh, you know, we went through the, the uh, the attempts to uh, uncover improvement areas, a lot of tri storming, uh, all of the disciplines that, uh, that Greenbelt teaches you. Uh, certainly, we used, uh, well, for our, our tool, hand tool, we went out and just bought some really high quality toolboxes and all the tools that we needed. Uh, we duplicated that so that we had a backup uh, set so that we could work at a couple different sites at the same time for our Acro Mills products that we found most useful were basically our Acro drawers where we stored all of our inserts for the mold changes. Probably the most challenging S out of the five S's for us has been the sustaining. It's, it's very important to be able to go back and revisit things so we, we are constantly vigilant on the improvements that we've made and we don't want to backslide anywhere so I would say 5S uh, sustaining, very important part of it. The implementation of the 5S, we've always considered ourselves a pretty clean shop, but with the 5S, we've really been able to clean it up a, a lot more and work on the sustainability of the system. Uh, the lighting and everything looks looks better. So right now we're at uh, around 1,325 days of no lost time work. So things have uh, things have been very well for us in that in that way. Many of the projects we, we've had a, a lot of different savings on our, on our projects for the uh, 5S. And to give you an example on mold changes, we reduced our mold change time from an average of four hours down to an average of one hour and twenty minutes. So that equates to an awful lot at the end of the end of the week month when you're doing uh, some nine mold changes a day. Well, the development of the, of the uh, plans actually, you know, as we had more and more meetings with the employees, uh, with the teams, and identified more opportunities, we kind of fragmented things out. For instance, on our uh, we attempted a, uh, a mold change improvement uh, program that led to uh, better organization of molds, better organization of uh, inserts, tools, defined methods hand tools that uh, were all company owned toolboxes so that we got rid of, I think we got rid of a total of uh, 17 different toolboxes that were around the plant. So now we have basically two toolboxes that everybody uses. We have high, higher quality tools, much safer environment. Our mold changes went from an average of about four hours. We're down now to about an hour and a half. So things have progressed for us very well. And we're continuing to improve on those situations. We're rotating our stock much faster. We're, uh, we're shipping, it used to be that we were shipping three to five days. Now we're shipping one to three days, an average of less than two days on our orders. So our dealers really appreciate that. Uh, they can uh, come back.
compete with the inventory holding uh, people. So uh, I think that's been the biggest. We've had less calls certainly to customer service because we're not late. Uh, the, the only downside to that was often we ship before a customer can change his mind. So if he doesn't give us the right information the first time, uh, sometimes he's going to get a couple of shipments. Well, certainly there's a big financial benefit to it. I think the, uh, the customer satisfaction part of that is, is significant. But really when it gets down to it, I think that the safety and the attitude of the workers uh, improves so much with, with that kind of thing. Their input for this project was very successful. Uh, we continue to have those. We have uh, uh, new projects going on for first shift, second shift, and third shift. Uh, so we keep track of those things and let the people know how, how uh, changes are being made and what uh, accomplishments are, are being uh, obtained. If I had to give advice on, on an implementation of a 5S, I would uh, encourage the companies to go outside for some help to do some strategic planning with uh, people who are trained with this. Most of us have gone through green belt uh, training, so things are pretty pretty good for us now. We can do that ourselves, but initially it really helps to have someone outside to come in and get the people involved in it. Once you've had a few successes, it kind of just takes off on its own. We've got people with projects throughout the company on different shifts, and we kind of report out on those every week. And I think that's a, that's a very important part, is to make sure that we're reporting out on it so that people understand that we appreciate the changes that are going on and we see the impact on the financial and customer service safety.